Hi, I'm Dave Coach, and I'm a commercial and real estate photographer in Utah. Welcome to my series of videos on making and tuning a website for photographers. Prior to working as a photographer, I built websites. The first one I took online was in 1995 when CompuServe and Prodigy were a thing, and the internet was a twinkle in the eye of the online community. Since then, I have built a number of websites and learned a lot on that journey. From there, I went on to work in a marketing company. There, we had a whole team of people dedicated to building and tuning websites for great search engine response. I learned a lot from that time and experience, and I'm here today to share some of what I learned with you to make your website more effective in your market. Let's start with a simple quiz and see what you know about websites. One question, and it's an easy one. What is the purpose of a website? Take a second, pause the video if you need to, but tell yourself what the primary purpose of your website is. Probably the most common response is that your website is there to represent you and your company. Some of you may think it is there as a web brochure for your company, available 24-7 for your customers. Or to promote your brand or brand awareness. Or to let your client know about your services. Or even there to answer questions clients may have any time of day or night. While all of these are components of what makes a good web presence, none of them are the primary reason people at our level and in our business should have a website. If you want a brochure, go print one out and hand it out to your customers. As far as representing your company or brand, you are far more effective doing that when you are out in the field with your customers. We as photographers need our website to attract us new customers and to convert those customers into paying clients. In other words, the main goal of your website is to help you make more money and do it easier. All of these other reasons are superfluous, although good websites do fill those other needs too. And that is my goal here, to help you along the way. So instead of just an online brochure, you create a website that attracts and then converts people searching for your services. Do you have an existing website? How much traffic does it generate? Are you satisfied with the number of new jobs that it gives you every month? Or do you get enough jobs from referrals? If so, you probably don't need this video or a new website. But if you are ready to build your first site, or your current site is not bringing you the number of customers you want, you are in the right place. I took a look at my stats earlier. As of 1 p.m. today, I had 13 new visitors to my website. Yesterday, I totaled 18 with nearly 160 over the last week. Nearly 8,000 over the last year. Not all of those visitors are going to turn into customers. Some are just kicking tires, and some don't need what I offer. But that amount of visitors gives me the hit rate for real customers that I need to sustain my business. The idea is to think of your site as an extension of your marketing. It needs to be out there getting in the grill of potential customers and saying, hey, come on over here. And on the web, the way you do that is to get on page one of the Google search results, the SERPs, when people search for what you do. Whether you have an existing website or building a brand new site, there's a lot you can learn from my videos. I will be here showing you how to focus your site as a whole and to optimize your hit rate for specific keywords. But more importantly, I will show you how you can bring in niche clients by tuning individual pages for specific terms. The ultimate goal here is not to just show off your work, but to use that work to generate new leads, new clients, and new business. When this is over and you have implemented all the steps I go over here, you will understand a lot more about how a website works and what you can do on the back end to affect your Google standings. You will recognize when your website is working for you and when you need to do more work on it. This is important because our goal here is not to just get you on the web, but to get you an increase in traffic and customers. And this will result in more work coming your way, a lot more. Ultimately, that is your website's job, to bring you more work. And if your website does not bring you more work, I would say it's failing in its primary duty. Our main goal here with this video is to help you optimize your website to attract those new clients. I will help you get the focus of your website where it should be to help you build your business. Not really so much with the technical aspects of installing and running the site. As such, I will touch on some of the more technical aspects of an install, but I will not be going into too much depth. I just can't. Too much of the variables depend on your host, how they handle things, and that's all different at every host. So it will be much better if you read your website host's technical support pages on installing their programs. They will be specific to your system. Before we get started, you will need a few things lined up. Let's start with a browser. 
That's the software that you use to move around the web. The big ones are Firefox and Chrome, and then Safari on Mac and iPhone. Others include Opera, Explorer, and Edge. Which one should you use? Unfortunately, all of them. You can continue to use the browser you are most comfortable with for the heavy lifting and editing, but when it comes to doing the final quality assurance tests, you will want to test your pages across every browser and every platform, and on iPhone, and on iPad, and even Android devices. You will be amazed how differently the same page will display on different software. When it comes to choosing the design for your site, I will make a big point about getting a responsive theme. What that means is the theme reformats itself depending on the screen layout of the viewing device. Horizontal, vertical, whatever. We are all professionals here. I don't need to tell you what an aspect ratio is. The aspect ratio of an iPhone, though, is much different than on, uh, for your desktop. And if you want your website to compensate for those differences, you need a responsive theme. As for iPads, depending on whether they are being held horizontally and vertically, well, it's just a giant mess. Best to get a theme that takes care of all this for you. You will also need image editing software. I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem for us, is it? You may need to adjust some of your image to fit certain constraints, like aspect ratios or fitting into a certain part on your theme. I trust you can do that, and most good themes will tell you what size you need to crop your images to to make them work best. You will need a text editor of some sort. While you can, and I often do, write the pages directly into the web portal, I would prefer you start writing your initial pages as early in this process as you can, like right now. Any text editor will do, Notepad or text edit in Mac, up to Microsoft Word or Pages in Mac. It really doesn't matter what program you use because we will only be moving the basic text across to your website. All the formatting will be done on the web editor. Finally, I hope you have a sense of adventure and a desire to explore and make something new. While you need to come into this process knowing it will be a lot of work and you may spend a lot of time fiddling with small things to make the whole page perfect, isn't that what we do every day as photographers? We stress over minor blemishes that no one else sees, and our work reflects that. So should your website. The process of building a website is not easy, and it's probably not going to be a lot of fun for you. It will be a learning process nearly every step of the way. It's going to take some amount of work and a lot of dedication, and it will take a whole lot of commitment from you. But this is doable, and you can work at your own pace. If something isn't working right, take a few days off. Come back and try it again. You will be able to solve the problem. And the best thing is that once it's done, it keeps working for you. You can always add and supplement to your site. In fact, I suggest you always do. But once the basic site is up and running, all the hard work is done. And maintenance is very, very minimal. If you are ready to go, then so am I. Let's jump right in and get started with the basics.